for me, while I'm here, Chris, I'd like to pay my respect to Cartman here. Especially, Jan, I know your dad. Now you're Mala, Mala Jan, I'm from Yarraba. And um, I'm the youngest of a very large family. But, um, you know, community life. And uh, we're having, not having a great education. But it's through the campfire talk, the lantern talks, that you pick up the old people. My father, who one of them, known as Bush Lawyer, that, not knowing that this man here, Bajam, died until yesterday. And my brother, Tony McAvoy, said, brother, you, you come with me down here, Canberra. I'm supposed to get the plane back to Kimwe, Yarraba. But I rang my dad up and being at Solly funeral and what a, you know, extraordinary people they were, warriors. All had different strategies mm. on attitude, but for who, who, who we are and what we've done and what we fought for and that belief, we know we only wanted one thing. The rights and interests of this country remains and it's a spiritual thing, it's a cultural thing and it belongs to us, it's God given to us. That was their belief. So, a lot of trials and tribulations along the way. But my dad, when I rang him up, Bush lawyer, Alfred Neal from Yarraba, and he grew up around the people like the Gilstons, the, uh, you know, Coles, and, you know, the McGuinnesses, the, the Millers, and the Bradys, and a lot of families that he mentioned, freedom fighters all around the country. The movement from the 67, taking it out, and but when I mentioned to him, not knowing Madden, and he insisted, now boy, you go down and you pay your respect to that man there, he said, I've known. And he's 94 year old. That man, he said, Dennis Walker is a great man. And we talk, you know, and it's as if, you know, he said, say, he said, nothing has changed. But he said, the fight must go on. And saying that, we have many, many, many uh, warriors in this country. And me and Tony on our way down, the little family, we talked about how do we keep that alive, that, that history, history about this man. His mother, history about the man we buried yesterday, history about the Mongol man. You know, they say Mongol man before Abraham. And, you know, these are the things. This is a symbolic place here. And, like sister there, talk. You know, sometimes we, a lot of us getting bent out. My, grand, my father bent that, But we all feel like that. We burnt him. But when you can come back to places like this, and we should have that history there to talk about the struggle, the history, the fighters, you know, we build that spirit back up. That been our motto all the time. We have survived, we will survive, and we will not give up the fight. And saying that, my condolences come from the Yarraba people. Gurubana, my mother, adopted people, family, the Kogangi, and the rest of the North. And I suppose I can say the Torres Strait, a lot of warriors there too. Um, our communities in Queensland, our deepest sympathy and our condolence with you, but we had a little saying in Yaraba, we never say die. And I'll leave that with you. This is a good day today. It's another day of celebration, and it's what he wanted. And, uh, you know, Brother Raymond, the elder and the family, 
you know, uh, with all those grandchildren coming and those great grandchildren coming, and they waited well. So, you know, we're still we're the generals, and we've got to be the master of our destiny. Thank you. Good on.